Hey guys, Jedi Marine here with another video today going over living conditions in the Marine Corps and kind of what you should expect. Living conditions in boot camp, we'll start there because that is the first place you will be. Boot camp, you're in a big squad bay, and a squad bay is basically a big open room that'll have, oh god, that'll have like 40 uh, to like 50 racks, and each rack is like a bunk bed, so you can have 80 to like 100 people in there sleeping. And it's just a big open room, and everyone sleeps together in those rooms. Um, and, you know, you'll uh, you'll do everything in there. I mean, that's where you spend a good chunk of your time while you're in boot camp is in your squad bay. You'll be studying. You'll be getting fucked with. You'll be cleaning. All sorts of stuff. You'll be doing it there. Um, from there, when you go up and you're doing, like, the the crucible and kind of that stuff, you're you're out in your sleeping bags. It'll probably be very cold. It'll either be very cold or very hot. There's never like an in-between, really, I found in the Marine Corps. It's always the extreme on either end. So you may get rained on. You may just be muddy as a motherfucker. It just, just depends on, on how shitty your luck is, really. But it'll be miserable when you're up doing that. You're going to hate it. You're not going to like a single bit of it, but what can you do? When you get to the fleet... Or you go to MCT, and MCT is the same thing. You're in a squad bay, but then you're also, when you're out in the field, you're going to be living in the field, dealing with whatever the field has to offer, you know, for that time that you're out there. Uh, from there, you're going to go to your MOS school, and I can't really speak to that. It just depends on where your MOS school is. Some places have nice weather. Some have shitty weather. It just depends. But chances are you'll have, you'll be sharing a room with somebody, or you'll be in a squad bay. In your MOS school, so so yeah, chances are that's that's what will happen at the MOS school, and depending on the MOS school infantry, they're they're going to be out, um, you know, humping. They're going to have their squad base and stuff still, but they're going to be, you know, you're going to spend a lot of your time out in the field, out on the different ranges, shooting your rifles, you know, kind of whatever it is for your infantry MOS, you know, whether you're machine gun or mortarman, all that kind of stuff, you'll. You will learn that s stuff, and that craft obviously is done in the field. So, grunts, sorry, you're going to be living out in the field a lot. Um, from there, you're going to get stationed in the fleet. And it depends which base you're stationed. Some are better than others, but you will either, generally now, the Marine Corps has gotten away from people living in squad bays once they get to the fleet and they're at their duty station. It still happens. Uh, I know a lot of the grunts that... Uh, that I was friends with and stuff in 29 Palms, they had to live in squad bays because the Marine Corps had ran out of actual barracks for them to to live in. So they had to. They were all crammed in these fucking squad bays. And that's shitty, but it's the Marine Corps. What can you do? The Marine Corps has cut way back on its total number of people, so that probably isn't going to be a huge problem for you going forward. But just something to be aware of. Um, and out in the field, I mean, it's really a hit or miss. In 29 Palms, like, it's either really hot or really cold. Chances are it won't rain. It can rain on you, and I've been rained on out there. But it just it just really depends on, on the time of year, kind of that whole thing. But you're going to be sleeping in your sleeping bag. You'll be out. If you're out in 29 Palms, out in the desert, you'll probably be sleeping on the ground, out in the sand. And... I mean, overall, the living conditions really aren't horrible. You get used to it, living out there, being dirty all the time, uh, not showering for weeks at a time, uh, dealing with the, the scorpions and the, and the tarantulas and the goddamn camel spiders that are out there now, um, the desert tortoises, which I heard the Marine Corps is actually paying some company a ton of money to move all those damn tortoises out of there, which is cool. I mean, you don't want the tor tortoises to get hurt or anything, but, you know, it is what it is. But uh, anyway, and you get used to it. But the living conditions really aren't that horrible. When you get the barracks themselves, if you get most of the barracks are decently nice. I mean, some of the grunt barracks are pretty outdated. Uh, I know that the, my artillery battalion and a couple of the grunt units they kind of shuffled around. But I think two seven was right behind us. I want to say it was I want to say it was seventh Marines two seven one seven, and who else was it three four? Maybe even three four was there. I don't know. But the barracks behind us were decent, were good as well. And and a couple of their, their um, companies live back there. Uh, so overall, it's really not bad. I mean, those barracks, you share a roommate, 
And some of the some of the barracks rooms, you'll have your own bathroom. You know, for you and your your roommate, will share the same bathroom. And in the other barracks, they'll you'll share a bathroom with another room. So it'll be four people for one bathroom, if that makes sense. So, so yeah, not really a ton else to to go over. The conditions really aren't bad. You're gonna some of it you're not gonna like. You know, you're not some of you may not like getting dirty and muddy. If that's the case, you probably shouldn't join the Marine Corps. But overall, you, it's it's really not bad. I made it through. I lived four years there, and life's going good. So, yeah, I'm trying to think. Is there anything else to go over? I don't think so. So if you guys have any questions, hit me up, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Hey, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. All the links that you need to get in contact with me are down below. Uh, Facebook being the best one to contact me. It's, I'm on my phone all the time, so it's just easiest to, for me to be able to get back to you with your you know, variety of questions that you guys have. And, and yeah, if you need anything, by all means, hit me up. So please hit that subscribe button so you can keep in tune with future videos. And I'll see you later. Peace.